guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanner. Today I want to do something a little bit more on the natural side, something that's easy to do. I say natural because this is like natural for me. It may not be natural for you, um, but regardless, it is an easy look to create and achieve. Um, not that many products were needed, not that many brushes, anything like that. And this video is gonna be a voiceover because I wanna get re I wanna get ready more on like the quick side where like when I do talk through tutorials, it'll take me like three hours to do a look when it would normally take me like one. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment below if you have a preference, whether it is a voiceover or like a talk through. Um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, and first I'm gonna be going in with this Hydrating Milky Mist by Pixi and just spraying it all over my face. All right, and then I'm going to be going in with the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. Next, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 201, Classic Ivory. And I'm just gonna be putting it right on top of my Tarte Beauty Sponge. And I'm placing it in these areas, that way I can use a little bit of product and make it go a long way. And because I'm only using a little bit of product, that'll help with the natural look. Alright, just going to be using a little bit more on the areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. And to highlight and conceal, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. Again, I'm using a lot less product than I normally would, just so it's not as makeup-y looking. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. And I'm just using my Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. It's number 660. So now I'm going to be going in with the Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder. It's just a lightweight matte finish. It's just a pressed translucent powder. I'm just gonna be setting wherever I put that concealer and yeah. All right, going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm using the shade Light Bronzer. And I'm going in with this e.l.f. pointed powder brush. And I'm just gonna be doing some light contour slash bronzing. And then I'm just gonna be going back in with my beauty sponge and just kind of softening everything and making it look seamless. So now going in with the same Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm just gonna be going in with this crown brush. It doesn't have a name on it, um, but I mean, it looks like a contour brush. And I'm just, I like this better for my nose. It's a little bit more precise. And for blush, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild color icon. I'm using the shade Pearlescent Pink. I'm using this Real Technique stippling brush. Um, I would not recommend using this brush for blush. I've seen other people on YouTube use stippling brushes for blushes, and I don't know if it's just me, but I ended up picking up way too much product. As you'll see, it's oh, it was a little bit hard to fix the problem. All right, and going in with my Naked Smoky palette, I'm just gonna be using the first two shades, Combust and 13, just to soften up my eyelids. And I'm just gonna be using an e.l.f. blending brush.
All right, going in with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I'm gonna be taking a mixture between Faint and Crave, the two darkest colors in the palette, and the only two shadows that do have pigment in this palette. And I will just be using the Morphe E36 brush. Picking up a little bit more of the Butter Bronzer just to again blend it out a little bit more. Alright, and now I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop, excuse me, the ColourPop Super Shock Highlight in the shade Flexitarian. And I'm just going to be placing it on my actual eyelids just to give it a little bit of a pop. This step isn't necessary for like the natural look, but I just always have to have some, some kind of sparkle somewhere. All right, and then going in with this flat liner brush, I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Crave from the Naked palette just to create an eyeliner. And then using the same Morphe brush, I'm going back into the bronzer and just gonna smoke out my lower lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna curl my lashes using the e.l.f. eyelash curler. And then going in with my Benefit Roller Lash. All right, and next is my eyebrows. I'm gonna be going in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Eyebrow Pencil in shade three. And I'm just gonna be filling in my eyebrows. I kind of just go with my natural shape. And after so many strokes, I'll just brush it out with the spoolie on the other side just to soften it and again, give it a very natural look. And now using my Essence Brow Gel in the shade Brownie Browns, I'm just going to lightly, I'm just going to lightly gel my brows and I'm just gonna be doing, and I'll just be using a light amount of pressure to not add so much product and to keep it natural. I'm gonna be going in with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray in Rose Water. I'm just gonna be spraying it directly on my sponge and then patting it into my face just to blend all the powders together, make it look natural. All right, now going with my favorite highlighter. This is the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collab in the shade Eclipse. Even on my natural days, I've gotta have that glow. And I did attempt to go a little bit lighter handed with this just to make it look like I had a natural glow, not just powder sitting on top of my face. But as always, I got a little carried away. Going in with this small Morphe brush, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bone using the same Jeffree Star highlight. All right, and I'm gonna be finishing everything off with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. All right, uh, that wasn't the last step. I always forget to do lips. 
All right, so going on with this Flower Beauty lip liner, this is in the shade Petal, oh, excuse me, it's called Petal Pout Lip Liner and it's in the shade Nude. Yeah, this camera is very unforgiving. Please ignore the minor breakout I have going out currently. I tried a new skin serum and it obviously was not my friend. Also, I have a really hairy face, so you're gonna see hairs. All right, and I'll be filling my lips in with the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. All right, and that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one.